everybody, it's me, Vote Dean Collectibles. I was just, you know, drying my hair and stuff. Whew. So, today we have a great little project. I have a goal of getting five club members for the month of May. Um, so, we're going to do the clump of, May, clump of May, the month of May transfer. I did yesterday the... Um, Ice cold lemonade, refresh, refreshing and delicious, freshly squeezed on a metal um, tray, and then I'm going and I washed it. And it's ready to go again. Now we're going to put it on a picture frame. Let me see if I can pull myself up so if I see anybody's comments, I can answer. Hey, Cheyenne. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to use, I think, we're going to use four colors. For some reason, I was going to do a t-shirt today, but I do not have ink and yellow, which I just, I couldn't make it any other color. So, um, I have to wait till I get that in. But, we're going to go ahead and change up this um, chalkboard frame. And move down here a little bit so you can see it better. And, that out of my way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to clean it because it's reusable like everything else, um, our transfers, our boards, I mean, it doesn't have to be expensive um, to do something you enjoy. So you just add a little water to it and I let it soak in just for a second. So what this is going to do is it's going to loosen up the paste we use because the paste is not a permanent product. So you get your little scraper. And you're going to scrape lightly on the surface to bring it up. Once you're done, you're going to take a paper towel, absorb it, and you may see, like, the tree still on the outline of it. It's called ghosting. So that's where our little board eraser is going to come in. You're just going to have to use this um, to buff it out. But now this is a non-chemical um, board eraser. So, like, uh, Mr. Clean and all that, they have chemicals in them. Not recommended. So that's why we use um, that brand here. No chemicals. Feels like it, um, Mr. Clean, but it works. So I'm going to show you how to clean surface. Now this is pretty much any, um, I found, any um, chalkboard surface. You can do this with our product. As long as you're using our paste, it's easy to come right off. So this um, frame I did get from Chalk Couture. My, uh, my company, so I did get it from them, um, and it wasn't really that expensive, um, so, and I like the frame myself. Now they're coming out with black frames instead of the white, and I'm still, I like the white, I think it pops more, especially with colors, uh, but they're also coming out with, um, Hey, Tina. Um, they're also coming out with white chalkboards now. And I haven't used one yet or ordered even one yet, um, so I can't tell you. Um, I have an opinion, but the opinion until I try the product and see how it actually looks with, um, you know, my pace and stuff like that. I won't share that yet. But I'm sure you guys can guess. Um... And it might, I mean, it might be surprising, because this company really does surprise me on a lot of things that I didn't think I'd like, so. Um, I tried different transfers from different companies. I'm not really a big fan. When I did run into this company, I didn't have high expectations with, uh, you know, the product itself. So... Um, when I tell you, you can reuse these over and over and over again for anything, I'm, I'm telling you it's worth it. You just got to keep um, care of it and wash it. <gasps> She's got a tooth? Uh, I haven't been around because I've had a sore throat for like a week now. And um, I did test myself. I'm COVID, not COVID, so it's just allergies or whatever. But I didn't want to chance any, even a cold with her with her being sick lately. A little honey. Oh my god. A 
tooth. Did you hear everybody? A tooth. I don't know how she can have a tooth already. But it does explain why she's been cranky. Aww. Oh my god, I hope she don't... This will tell us if she has your teeth, right? <laughs> the, what did I call it? The Simpsons sisters. I don't even know if they have names. No, Marge was the wife. Now you're going to drive me crazy. Four months. And See, that's crazy to me. Teeth. Oh, God. I can't imagine where the time goes. But then again, you were that age at one time, too. So, I guess it goes fast. Alright, so I used the sponge to remove any ghosting on the frame itself. I'll show you there. So you don't see anybody or any trees or anything, so it's freshly clean. And now I've used this one on the tray, like I said. So I'm going to test how sticky it is. And it feels quite sticky after cleaning it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fuzz it a little bit. Just because you don't want to pull off the um, paste that you're using either. And that's what I'm t telling you. You can use product over and over. Because, I mean, all it takes is you take your little sponge, a little water, whoop, 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 gone, do both sides. And as long as your um, mesh is all clean, you don't let it dry in, you have a transfer for a very long time. So... Alright, so I'm going to toss that down there, and we're going to try to center the best I can. Cheyenne, just remind me to text you after this, um, this, uh, live, so I don't forget. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift down here a little bit. What I'm going to do first... <laughs> is not put it upside down. <laughs> I could have um, flipped the um, sign the other way around. Yeah, and it wouldn't wouldn't have mattered. But, you know, I do it the easy way. And on the tray, I did not yesterday use the bordering on it and I may not use it again. I just I don't I don't know what I have against the borders. So sometimes if you can't because it's very hard sometimes to see bubbles. Just take one of your little squeegees and go one direction and you'll hear like almost like reminds me of peanut shells. And then you know you missed one and it's been pushed out. And I don't know if you guys can hear that. All right, so we're going to, because we're going to do this in sections again, let me grab my squeegees. Okay, so instead of, um, yesterday I used a metal, which is like a normal green, what I would call a normal green, for the sprig, and there's a little leaf um, with the um, a lemon. Instead of doing that, I'm going to use sage because to me it's going to look more minty. And who doesn't like mint? I love my mint. Um, and I'm going to do. What am I going to do, guys? Because I don't know. I'm going to do the yellow. My lemon's yellow. And I might do the lemonade yellow again. And I might do the. Why do I have the guava out? I don't know why I have guava out. What was I going to do with guava? See what happens? I need to write notes for every little thing. So, who knows? Maybe I'll do the border with that one. We'll see. So, I'm going to start with the green, just like I did um, yesterday. And I'm going to work my way, because we're going to do a pull and peel, since we're using so many different colors. So, don't dip your finger into your paste. That would be bad. I'm going to move everything on this side. 
so you guys can see better, I think. No, I think you see better this way. Yeah, I think that's better anyway there. Alright, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the greenery, the sprigs, the mint, whatever you want to call it, and sage, which is a nice color, it really is. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to work in one direction, and you really don't need a lot of paste, it goes a long way. And just scrape in the excess that we get. Now, the thing is, I'm getting messages. <laughs> we'll be lucky if I don't get a phone call. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do the little leaf um, by the lemon. Try not to get it in the lemon itself. I do have a detail tool, but I left it out in the kitchen because um, I washed it yesterday. And of course, why would I bring it back to the craft room? That's crazy talk. So I did that, and I'm also going to do down here, just so I can just put the paste away, because you don't want to leave your paste open too long, because it can dry out. You can add water to it, um, distilled water only, um, and mix it up, because you want it to be like a yogurt type um, texture for your paste. And... Um, if it's too thick, it's going to not go through your mesh. If it's too thin, you're going to get a lot of bleeds. And remember, every there's detail tools to help you through it, but uh, if you make a mistake and it bleeds a little, let it dry, and you can scrape it right off with a little detail tool. Um, so, I mean, it's not a big deal. You can't mess up. At least I haven't messed up anything I can't fix. So I'm going to put this away, pull, and then dry, and then put it back down for the lemon and such. I got a little bit of that on my lemon, so that's what I was just rubbing off. And it takes no time for our paste to dry. Hey, Tammy, honey. Um, our paste dries so fast, it's like seconds. So, the gun that I use here, you can use a blow dryer. You don't have to go out and buy anything expensive. Just, you know, blow on it to dry it faster when you're working. So, hey, Helen. <laughs> So now we're going to go ahead and do, and we're using honeybee for the lemons and the lemonade. You know what? I didn't pull up the bottom. That would have been a bad one. Otherwise, it would have dried into the mesh and just pulled right up on me. And we don't want that. So I'm going to dry that really fast. down and then I'm going to push out where I'm going to still use the paste and make sure there's no air bubbles Perfect. and then we're going to do the lemon now so this is bumblebee paste it's a bright yellow and I use a lot of it obviously because it's almost gone so we're going to do our lemon Mm 
I'm just being careful that I do not go over into my leaf that I did the sage. And then we're going to do the lemonade in yellow. Then what we'll do is we'll end up pulling and peeling again. And then um, drying that. And then we'll go and put it back down for the ice cold, which we're going to do in our teal. I like that look last time I did it. Um, the teal looked really good with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the movie. I have the um, Sunny Drive, I think it is. or Yeah, Sunny Drive. And um, I don't use it as much as my Bumblebee. Because I think Bumblebee is so bright. It makes everything pop. So, just taking off the excess. Set that to the side. And then I'm going to pull up all the way to past the lemonade. And then we're going to dry it really fast. go. Gently lay it down, and then where it says ice cold, I'm going to press it down lightly to where that is, and then we're going to do a couture teal. Just make sure everything's pressed down so we get no air bubbles. I'm going to switch and close the rumblebee. I pulled guava out, and I have no idea why. <laughs> it's sitting here, um, and I was like, oh, we're going to use guava. Then I'm looking at it, and I'm like, why? Sometimes i got to question myself. All right. So we just did ice cold. And then I'm going to go down and do refreshing and delicious. And then we're going to do freshly squeezed. And then we'll pull it up and dry it. So that'll be the whole transfer. I'm not doing the border. I thought about it, but I still don't like the border. I don't know. I think if I did, I was making it a, like a sign for like a lemonade stand type thing, that would be cool. Set that over there. There's that, and let's see how it came out. Oh, yeah. Let's put this back on the back here, since I still don't have my bucket in here. To wash it, I'm going to dry it really fast. And I did have one little bleed. I know, Alan. 
I drive people crazy, I tell them. <laughs> I get tired of like a certain way. And uh, then I have to change it up. <laughs> but I use then using the side view and I find it's a lot better. I get more in it than um, I did when I was doing it looking on. Um, but I did see one of the designers. Um, she posted her setup. And uh, I don't even know how she did it because I don't even know. She had um, her um, iPad in front of her. She had a camera here. Then she had these little black cameras. One was like looking in the back of her head down. And so, so she had all these angles. And I'm like, gosh. Me, I, I don't know what I'd be doing. You'd see me seeing the back of my neck or something. Because I'm just not. <laughs> I just can't do it. So let me see if I can line this up right. Right where you see the squeeze. And then there is freshly. There's just a little of the. Um, where it seep through which is fine because all i have to do is take one of our i don't even know if i have that one any, what do i do one of our detail tools and it's almost like it's got a little wire and it's coated and all you would do is just go in between where it is and it would lightly um come up and you want to do this when it's dry because wet would just smudge it and then Sometimes I use, I have a special paintbrush <laughs> I use and I sweep it. And if I'm still not happy with it, if you take a, I get um, for the nails, because um, they come with a point. Um, so if you go into any like Walgreens, um, into the nail aisle, you'll get these like funky looking ones that have the tips. Um, you just get a little bit of water, nothing running, and you can touch it up just like that. Simple. But, uh, like I said, pretty much anything you do, you can't mess up. You really can't. Except when you get paste on your frame. But it wipes off. So that's what we have today. Let's see if we're in frame. I absolutely love it. And I love that I use the sage down here so it's not that bright green like this one. I thought the green was too bright. Um, but I like how the sage and the coral um, teal and the Bumblebee, I'll just sort of blend in, and then this I think makes the the teal pop a lot better. So, if you have any questions, like I said, this is the Club of May's transfer. That's the only way you can get it. It's $19.99. Um, you can cancel any time. You'll get three packets um, with it, and I think it's three or two packs of Bumblebee and. It, I think Sunny Drive, which is a lighter yellow. Um, almost reminds me of a Yoki. But uh, that will come with it so you can do your own little, you know, thing. Um, and that's really about it. I mean, it's simple stuff. So if you like anything, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you um, put on here club on a comment i will send you a link for the transfer to join um and like i said if you have any other questions just let me know all right you guys have a great day and uh enjoy it i'm sure it's nice and warm there for you helen <laughs> all right bye guys have a good day